Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and this is my 70th vlog. So hello. So happy to see every single one of you. So as many of you may know, I do my chaos box and I release those colors from the August chaos box. So those colors are now available up in my shop. And I wanted to go ahead and kind of show you guys some things that I want to do with my colors. So we're going to kind of use the colors from the box this month. I have four tumblers here that I would like to try these out on. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. I'm probably going to have to do my voiceover for doing these with you guys because it's hot. It is very hot in here. I got to have my fans on and all my stuff on and my door is open. So you guys won't be able to hear me. <laughs> so I'll probably just be doing a voiceover again today for this. That's okay. And again, these aren't full on tutorials. This is just us playing around, me showing you guys different things. So that's what my vlogs are all about for any of you who are new out there. But I'm really excited to show you guys these new colors for this month. I, I had a lot of fun kind of doing them up. You know, I got my coasters here. I'll go ahead and show you guys my coasters real quick and then and then we'll do the glitters, okay? <laughs> if you're part of my VIP group on Facebook and my Patreon group and my SOC Glitters Facebook, you've seen my little video this morning, but you know, <laughs> I made a little video to go with it, but I'll kind of show you guys uh, my coasters here. So my first one, because this month was um, back to school themed. So each one kind of had a back to school feel to it. And this first one is a white, and this is called Agenda. Look at that sparkle, such a beautiful white. We're gonna be, of course, we're doing those, we're doing some tumblers up today with it, so. But it had, it's a beautiful white sparkle. It's transparent, so whatever colors you put behind it, those colors are really gonna show up through it, or you can just have it a basic white, so however you guys wanna do it. But the undertones in this are like a, a gold, definitely a gold, with little hints of like pink and a little bit of green. It's very subtle with those, but it is definitely there, but a very beautiful color. And that was a fine cut. And I know you guys know my fine cut glitters come four ounces jarred. They do come in a shaker. Come like that. <laughs> four ounces by weight. So that's how my fine glitters come. And the next one is also a fine cut glitter. This is called chalkboard. And this is a true to color metallic, meaning there's no shifts in it or anything. It's a dark gray metallic. So very nice accent color for something or just use it as is, another pretty color. Now we're gonna do some chunky colors here. Um, now my chunky colors, they come for now, I don't wanna say too much, <laughs> but for now they come bagged and, two, and that's two ounces by weight. But the bag, I know I, I've gotten a lot of requests from the beginning, you know, please put them in something. So. I may be offering jars soon for my chunky glitters. That's all I'm gonna say. We're gonna leave it at that. Anyways, <laughs> but they come two ounces by weight. And this this one is called Pencil Box. But if you, let me see if I can get it closer. But there's all kinds of different colors in there. There's purple, teal, it's like a tealy green. There's a, a dark navy blue, gold, all kinds of pretty colors. It definitely reminded me of like a fancy pencil box maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and then the last but not least is called Superstar. And this is a, I can, you can't see it on here because everything's all squished together, but you'll be able to see it more when we do up the, the tumblers here. But this is a custom mix and it's mainly uh, teal as you can see with little bits of gold and silver in between, but the main thing is, I'm trying to get it to focus, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are open stars mixed in with the regular shaped uh, glitters in there. So maybe if I turn it over, you can see it a little bit better. I mean, you know what? I made another coaster over here. Let me show you that. I was just messing around and I made this coaster with um, Agenda and actually White Diamond. You see there's star, open stars along with the regular cuts in there. So, so once you get it laid out flat, you see it better. But those are my colors for this month. We're gonna be doing them up today on a tumbler so I can kind of give you guys a little inspiration for what I had in mind whenever I put this box together to begin with. So I'm ready. All right, I'm ready to wake up. I, I did that. I, I even took a shower today. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> I'm ready to wake up. 
prep these tumblers that are, like I already did and slay all day. Let's do this. First thing that I want to show you guys is how I open up my shaker bottles. Now I just kind of take it and make sure it's flat against a bottom surface and just really hold it tight with my one hand and just kind of pry off the top with the other hand and then I just remove that center piece there and push my top back down until I hear the clicking noise and that's how I take the little center piece off of my shaker bottles. Okay, moving on. We're gonna start off with this first tumbler. This I did a white and navy ombre on. Very basic, very simple, but you guys will see here in a second the glitters that I use. Now for the white portion, I'm gonna use Agenda. And for the navy portion, I'm gonna use Pencil Box. Now navy, or not navy, but Pencil Box, you can use any type of base glitter that you would like to kind of accentuate the colors that are in there so you could use a gold backdrop you could use a teal backdrop a purple backdrop it's completely up to you whatever you guys want to accentuate you go ahead and do it up that color on the bottom now anytime i do a chunky ombre i start with the chunky glitters first so that way i can kind of swoop the fine glitters around my chunky but as you guys can see here, I'm gonna start with my bottom first, and then I'm just gonna make sure that I hold my tumbler up so that way those glitters naturally fall and make that beautiful ombre that we love so much. And once I have my bottom all done up, I'm just gonna move on to my fine glitter, which is Agenda, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on really well at the top, and I'm just gonna, again, let that naturally fall all the way down my tumbler. And because this glitter really kind of go on any surface. I actually make sure that I go all the way down into my chunky as well, so that way it kind of fills in any little spots that might have got missed. But this is exactly why I chose this white this month, because it really blends very well with the two chunky glitters that I have this month. As you can see here, I brought that Agenda all the way down to the very bottom, and it blends in super good with it because Agenda has kind of those gold undertones as well. All right, I'm going to go stick that off to the side to let it cure, and we're going to move on to the next tumbler. Now, the next tumbler I did, I just did this basic white with the sea or satin sea glass as the bottom for a nice ombre. And this is going to be Agenda with Superstar. And I'm going to do the same exact thing like I did with Pencil Box. I'm just going to load up that bottom really well and just kind of naturally let that Superstar fall around the bottom, making that ombre look. And once I am done kind of filling all my stuff in, because I kind of go around the rim of that bottom really good, and I just let everything fall very naturally, I'm going to come back through and I'm going to take my gloved hand and I'm going to tap all those chunky glitters down first before I add my fine glitter at the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap those down. And now I'm going to move on to Agenda. I'm going to load up the top portion with my Agenda, bringing it all the way down into my uh, superstar glitter as well because like i said this agenda can be used on anything that kind of has like a gold base to it because the undertones to it are gold so it matches really well with all these chunkies this month so this is what it looks like and i'm going to set that off to the side i'm going to let that cure as well and we're going to move on to the next look now the next one I want to do is actually going to be chalkboard with Superstar. So Superstar is going to go at the top and the bottom. And I just did the whole tumbler in black. And I did up the rim and the bottom and that same uh, satin sea glass, I think it was called. <laughs> and now I'm just showing you chalkboard there. But I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to put a very thin layer of epoxy on my tumblers because each time you want to add a very super thin amount of epoxy so that we your glitter really shines on those tumblers and i'm just going to very carefully i just take little tiny fingerfuls at a time and i just go around the top and i'm going to do the same exact thing around the bottom as well and i don't want it to fall too far down the tumbler because i just want a little bit of an ombre onto the center portion so i'm going to do the same thing on the bottom as well i'm just going to take little tiny pinches and just kind of go around and very carefully make a very slight fade up into the middle 
Now, if you obviously didn't want to do chalkboard for the middle of this, you could use agenda. Either one would look absolutely amazing on this. And of course, I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to kind of go around the rim just to make sure there's no chunky glitters kind of hanging off the edge. And I'm going to take my finger and just kind of tap down any of those chunky glitters. And this is what it looks like so far after I tapped everything down. And now we are ready to move on to applying that chalkboard in the center. Now anytime I do kind of chunkies at the top and the bottom, like on this one, I like to come through with my fine glitters and I will go completely around the center and then I will start to tilt my tumbler down so that way it just kind of naturally falls down into the chunky glitters and then I will do the same thing where I tilt it up and let it fade naturally back down into those chunky glitters at the very top of my tumbler as well. And to fill in the top and the bottom, because there are some open spaces there, I actually took Oceanside, which is from my shop as well, which is a nice teal color that kind of matches the teal we have going with Superstar. I just kind of took that and blended it in with my chunkies off camera. I actually did that off camera. So I'll show you guys here at the very end kind of what I did. So this last one here is kind of my personal favorite. I really like how this turned out. It's very fall vibes about it. <laughs> but this last one here, um, I used an evening navy and I used burnt sienna and I also used harvest grape to achieve kind of this, I, I believe it's called calico pattern onto the tumbler and it is just so gorgeous. I absolutely love how this turned out. So I just did it very randomly kind of spritz this all over the tumbler until I achieved kind of the look that I'm after. I went ahead and applied a very thin coating of my epoxy and I'm going to load this entire thing up with agenda. But that's the thing I love about this agenda. You can honestly put it over any type of color as long as you know you want that kind of golden undertones. It is just so gorgeous and I really love how it turns out in the end. All right, after I got that all done up, I'm gonna shake that off and this is what it is looking like so far. So obviously after we add another coat of epoxy over our raw glitter here, it's really just going to further the look of this. So I can't wait for you guys to see what this looks like under epoxy fully. Okay, I have my fan going. I'm really hoping it's not irritating the sound here. I'm hoping. <laughs> It's okay. I went ahead and I turned it off for a second because I'm only going to be talking to you guys for a second anyways. Okay, these were obviously ready to come off their turner. You know, I, I've been doing other stuff. I did this this morning, so now I'm ready to kind of show you guys what they look like. I obviously need to add some epoxy over it, and I don't know what kind of decals to put on it. Now, I did get some um, clear cast decals from Gracefully Created. There we go. Um, I don't have them out here. Maybe I should go grab them. Okay, I went inside and I grabbed them. But they come like this. Again, that's gracefully created and there are clear cast decals. So they have to be on a white base so I can only do them on two of my tumblers here. But I bought, I think she had a variety pack and I bought two of them. And uh, also the she, had, she does pen decals as well, clear cast pen decals as well. And I bought one of those so I have some of that stuff I don't know we'll see maybe next week we can kind of work on some pens with those <laughs> along with the tumblers here but there's all kinds of stuff in here was that if you're going to be salty then bring the tequila I think I have a shirt like that I think I swear I have a shirt that says that I mean there's so many different ones in here hot mess express that's me yeah <laughs> Uh, true crime stuff. Um, well, I hate people. <laughs> there are all kinds of stuff in here. Home sweet home. But I just bought a variety pack of stuff. So I don't know if I should put one of these on there. Or I don't know if I should put a quote, like a specific quote, you know. So, oh, that one has a customer. I can't, I can't put that one on there. Um, this is true. I mean, you know. Please excuse the mess. My children are feral. <laughs> it's true. Well, there's a little peacock here. He's pretty. I don't know. I don't know what to do. There are some, I, I bought a bunch, like so many, so many. 
there are a lot there. I don't know what to choose. <laughs> But anyways, let's move on to showing you guys these tumblers and you guys can kind of decide or help me out what, sh what kind of decals would you guys suggest. So uh, what was the first one you did? Okay, we did this one first. Sorry, it's so hot out here. Turn my fan off. I'm looking sticky. All right, this is my first one that I did. And this was pencil box with agenda. Like I did agenda all the way down. So this is the raw glitter stage of that goes really well together. Got to put something up there. I just don't know what. Okay, the next one we did was agenda at the top and superstar at the bottom. So there's that together. I'm trying to get it close up. You can see kind of some of those open stars in there. Again, I brought agenda all the way down to kind of mix in and fill in any void spaces in between the chunky stuff. And I think it went really well together. Now the next one we did was a little bit of Superstar at the top and the bottom with chalkboard in the middle. And I actually put uh, Oceanside over this to kind of fill in, or you could do Agenda, whichever way you want to do, kind of like how we did the other one. But I used Oceanside to kind of fill in here and there. Matches pretty good. And you can still see the stars. I know it's not really showing up on camera, but you can still see the little stars here and there and there as well, down in the gray. Okay, and then this last one that I did, I really like this one. This one's probably my favorite. I really like how that's turning out so far. And that was all those colors on the base with just agenda right over top. How easy is that? Super easy. I don't know what I wanna do with this one yet. What do you guys think? What should I do? Should I do a power wash over it? Should I do, you know, some sort of white in the middle with a decal? Should I put just a quote on there? What do you guys think? Let me know. <laughs> all right, guys. I think that's going to do it for me today. Again, all those colors are available at sscglitters.com. If you want to check them out, if not, hey, you know, thanks for watching. I appreciate that. I really do. I don't push my products on people. I just want you guys to know that whatever products you like to use, that's amazing. I, I don't like to push anything on anybody, but I just wanted to show everybody who really enjoys my glitters that these are available and this is what you can do with them. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and go inside <laughs> and finish up dinner and finish getting the kids together because school's tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and do that. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and amazing rest of your week. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.